the apothecary system. The apothecary system uh, is the old, an old drug measurement system that's used in the old days. Uh, it's not as common anymore as a metric or household system, but uh, it could still be used by some doctors and some drug labels. And uh, unlike, uh, more like the household system, unlike the metric system, they use decimals. Also, uh, the apothecary system sometimes uses uh, Roman numerals. Uh, and they usually write their abbreviation first as the units and then write the amount or quantity. Uh, for example, uh, the five grains could be written as uh, GR, is uh, um, the abbreviation for grains, and uh, Roman numeral, numeral uh, V stands for five. So sometimes GRV would represent five grains, or can be written that way. So it looks like we're going to need to uh, take a quick tour uh, of Roman numerals. We have uh, Roman numerals uh, equivalent Arabic numbers, or our regular number system. Uh, one, two, three, and when we get to four, it's, uh, it's an I and a V and a five is a V. So uh, those those uh, Roman numerals uh, when they are about to change from in this case from a unit one to a unit of five which is a V, uh, the one right before it uh, has that IV change just like number nine would be IX to represent uh, one minus uh, ten. Uh, larger numbers, uh, L, C, D, and M are 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. And then also sometimes the one half is used. Uh, SS is the Roman numeral symbol for a half. So reading some no Roman numeral symbols, um, and there's uh, some basic rules. Uh, the first basic rule is to just add the numbers that you see. So a V1 or VII would be a 5 plus 1 plus 1 or 5 plus 2. Uh, an LV uh, with an SS, L is 50, V is 5, so that's 55, and SS is a half. And uh, XXI is a 10 plus 10 plus uh, 1. Um, also, when, we, when, we, when there is a, a smaller amount, before a larger amount like X is 10 and C is 100 and X goes right before 100 so XC uh, is actually a subtraction it's uh, you need to take 10 away from 100 so X is 10 away from C is 100 and so that becomes 90 another example I am M is a thousand I is 1 and I comes first before M, so it looks like we're going to need to take one away from a thousand. That's nine hundred ninety-nine. X I X. Well, X is larger. X is ten. I is one. X is larger than uh, one, so we'll count the first X as a ten, and then you have an I X. Now I is less than uh, I is one. is less than X, which is ten. So that's uh, nineteen. So that's ten plus nineteen, or plus nine, which becomes nineteen. Uh, when we're converting longer uh, Roman numerals, uh, we're, it would be a good idea to try to separate it, kind of like what we did in the previous one, except those are really short. So really long ones like uh, CDL, XX, IV. Um, so uh, we're going to separate C and D, and uh, L is, uh, is, is less than 50, so we'll start doing the separation uh, and we'll work from uh, right to left. So we'll take a look at the I and a V and then uh, the next step is uh, the two X's, the 10 and the 10 and then the L is 50 and then the CD is um, that combination again of uh, 100 versus 500 and so uh, since C is less than D, uh, 100 is less than 500 we subtract and so we get these um, individual little Roman numerals, we add them together, and then we get uh, 474. 
All right, so back to the apothecary system. Um, some of the systems uh, have some strange symbols uh, that you may or may ha have uh, not seen. Uh, the quartz and pints, we've seen that in household systems, and in fact, ounces is very similar, is exactly pretty much the same as the uh, ounces, uh, except they call it fluid ounces here in the apothecary system. Um, and uh, this is just a table of uh, just the systems themselves and what they mean. So we're going to look at quartz, pints, fluid ounces, fluid drams, and minims. Minims is the uh, least amount or the smallest amount uh, in the apothecary system. And then weights, uh, they're ounces, drams, and grains. So uh, the difference between ounces and fluid ounces, drams and fluid drams, are uh, the fluid ones are, are measurements of liquid volume. So equivalences within the apothecary system, uh, one quart is equal to two pints, and you see the symbols on the left side of the first table. Uh, one pint is the same as 16 fluid ounces, uh, one fluid ounce, eight fluid drams, uh, one fluid dram is 60 minims. And then in terms of weight equivalences, uh, ounces and drams, again, the same kind of relationship in the fluid, in the liquid volume, or in the, and then also in the weight, and in uh, one dram, sixty grains. So let's do an example. We're we're converting uh, 120 minims to uh, to fluid ounces, and so uh, there's a conversion between fluid ounces and fluid drams, and conversion between fluid drams to fluid minims but no direct translation uh, unless we can make one up but uh, according to our table we only have uh, the relationship between uh, the ounces of drams and drams to um, minimums so uh, what we're going to need to do in this case is just to combine um, the two um, equivalences and then we'll work from there so we take a look at the two equivalences and we're going to um, divide the second one by uh, by the drams, the second equation by the drams so that we have, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to divide by minims so that we have minims in a denominator. And so that becomes um, uh, one fluid dram divided by 60 minims. So that's uh, going to be one unit conversion that we're going to do. A second unit conversion is we take the first equation and we're going to change that into fluid ounces divided by fluid drams. And so we got constants 1 over 8 and 1 over 60. And so when we take our value um, multiplied by these conversion factors, we had 120 minims uh, times uh, 1 fluid dram and 60 minims, 1 fluid ounce and 8 fluid drams. And then we see that the units just cancel each other out. Uh, the minimums cancel each other out and the uh, fluid drams cancel each other out and our units end up being fluid ounces. So now we just focus on the numbers. Uh, 120 divided by 60, you get a factor of 2 and then 2 into 8 is uh, 4 and so uh, the numerator is all gone and we just have 4 in the denominator and fluid ounces so we get 1 um, fourth fluid ounce. So now that we've gotten the apothecary system down, more or less, we're, uh, we should also be able to convert between uh, the different systems. So uh, we're going to go into the metric, apothecary and household systems uh, via conversion. And we're going to take a look at some of those examples. Um, just to briefly talk about this table, though, uh, the metric system uh, one fluid ounce or two is equal to pretty much two tablespoons uh, from the household uh, measurement. But in the metric, it's not quite um, the same, or so there's no exact value. So these are just approximate equivalences. And uh, the approximation to the metric system is about 30 to 32 milliliters. Uh, and the most commonly used is about 30 milliliters. Uh, same with one teaspoon, um, and that's approximately. Uh, five milliliters. Oh, and uh, the bottom table, or uh, the bottom uh, left-hand box in your table, 
as a reminder that uh, one milliliter is the same as uh, one cc. Cc stands for cubic centimeters. Uh, so aside from liquid volumes, we also have weights, and these are the weights. Um, and here we see again the relationship between a kilogram and a pound. So let's take an example where we're converting a fluid ounce, two fluid ounces, and we're asked how many cc's is that. Um, so think about milliliters when you're thinking about cc's. And so uh, the relationship we have is uh, 30 milliliters is the same as one fluid ounce. So we make that uh, relationship. And since the fluid ounce is in the denominator, or since the fluid ounce is the original uh, unit we want to convert out of, that's going to go in our denominator. Uh, so our conversion factor is 30 milliliters over uh, one fluid ounce. We take uh, two fluid ounces and multiply it by our conversion factor and the fluid ounces disappear. We have 2 times 30 and it's all in ml so that's 60 milliliters. Again in terms of cc's equivalent to 60 cc's.